to swim in his honor or to do something in his honor, it means a lot. Carlos Nybriff is in Israel this summer to honor his son, Alon, who tragically passed away in the Surfside building collapse in Florida last year. In the last Maccabi Yah, Alon captained the U.S. under-16 soccer team, and he certainly would have returned to the games once again. He was supposed to be with us today, but unfortunately, he's not with us. And that's why I got involved with the swimming team, and I decided to swim in his honor. Carlos competed in his first Maccabi Al 37 years ago as a track star for Argentina. He won medals for the South American country, but it was his son that helped switch his allegiance to the Stars and Stripes. A muscle injury ended Carlos's medal hopes in the 200 meter freestyle. But it's not about his finish, it's about diving right back in. It's a moment where you start living again and think about something positive rather than something negative with what I wake up every day. Although Nybrick didn't get the result he wanted to today, his connection with Maccabi USA and the greater Israeli community continues to grow stronger as each day passes. I believe that the relationship between both countries is unique because we know both of us, that we can trust each other and we are in any way we need to support one another. Nybrif's love for Israel is even deeper than most. It was this country's defense forces, the IDF, which was working at the site in Surfside and found Alan's body in the rubble. Only one group in the world that I knew was able to at least recover the bodies because we knew that the chance to find somebody alive was very, very slim. Although the pain will never go away, Alon's memory propelled Carlos to a silver medal in the 4x50 relay. Reporting from Netanya, Evan Kamiko, Maccabi Media.